For the past few months, I've seen quite a few people passing assessments and earning badges on LinkedIn. One in particular caught my eye. It was an assessment for machine learning. At the time, I was pretty busy and I was a little worried about what it might entail and possibly worried about failing it. So I bookmarked it and I went along on my way. Just recently, just a, actually an hour or so ago, it popped up again and I decided I should take it to see what it's about. You know, who cares how I do? Let's, let's just see how it played out. Honestly, it'd probably be funnier if I failed for the sake of the video. You do get to see how I did at the very end, so stay tuned for that. As you probably know, I love LinkedIn. I think the platform is excellent for creating a brand, especially as a data scientist. That doesn't necessarily mean that I love everything that they do. I'll try to be as objective as I can with my thoughts on this assessment. So starting out, the assessment said that there are over 700,000 people who'd taken it and that they could proudly display their machine learning badge on the top of their profile if they placed in the top 30%. Having a slightly competitive streak, this was pretty appealing to me. I was actually surprised by how many people had taken it. Uh, let me know below in the comments if you've heard of this assessment or if you've taken it before and, and what your thoughts are on it. The assessment was pretty straightforward. There were 15 questions and each question you had one minute and 30 seconds each. And this is where I started getting red flags right out of the gate. How are you supposed to assess someone's machine learning ability in this short period of time? After the first couple questions, I regretted taking the exam altogether. I was legitimately getting like pretty angry the further I got into the assessment. They had questions like this uh, and, and also questions like this. As you can see, the focus on terminology is something that's like one of my huge pet peeves. How is knowing terminology gonna help you with any relevant machine learning problem? Essentially, this whole test boiled down to simple terminology, bias and variance trade-off, and questions about which type of model you should use in certain scenarios. I'd be willing to bet that they had one of their interns put this whole thing together, or at least that's what it felt like to me. From my perspective, the majority of machine learning knowledge is math. The other part is the implementation aspect, which is code. How could this assessment not include a single element of the two major underlying factors of the domain itself? I really struggle to see what the purpose of an assessment like this is. LinkedIn is, in some sense, a job board. Is it to help employers evaluate employees for the job? Based on this test, this would mean absolutely nothing to me, possibly less than nothing, if a candidate that I was hiring had passed this assessment. I really think this is particularly bad coming from LinkedIn themselves. They're one of the birthplaces of data science. And is this the future of talent evaluation that they're pushing for? Would they hire a machine learning candidate to their company based on this assessment? If LinkedIn has a future goal of having large scale assessments to qualify candidates, this is a absolutely brutal start. I think that this is hurting their costs. Having watered down assessments like these essentially floods the market with low quality certification. This devalues all the other certifications that are out there because employers are unable to distinguish the quality ones from the ones that just take 15 minutes. This to me is a cheap play to gamify their platform that will give people false hope. The clear message from LinkedIn is that badges and certificates matter for landing a job, which could not be further from the truth. And as I just said, they completely devalued all of these by putting a low quality one into the market. I really respect LinkedIn, but I think this was a major misstep. Okay, so uh, enough of my rant. Uh, I think it's important to give constructive feedback rather than just poke holes in things. How can LinkedIn make this right? My first choice would be to just completely eliminate this option. My second choice would be for them to do what Google did with their data analytics certification. They need to put their money where their mouth is. As you may or may not know, Google released their data analytics course earlier this year. They essentially said that that course would qualify you to work at Google. It doesn't necessarily mean that it would land you a job at Google, but that would be as good as a university degree or many of the other prerequisites that are commonly thought of when you apply for a position at Google. This gave the certification immediate credibility because Google itself was putting stock in it. I think LinkedIn should build an assessment that as a company, they would feel comfortable evaluating their data science or machine learning talent against. This is what an industry leader would do. Now, outside of an assessment, what do I think LinkedIn could do to better serve data science candidates? Although pretty much everything would hold more weight than this assessment, there are two things in my mind that really stand out. First, having a more streamlined way to allow people to give recommendations of others. I know you can already recommend people based on skills and you can write a personal note, but being able to attach your name to another person really creates a lot of value. For example, if 10 highly respected data scientists recommended me, I'd want those to be as visible as possible at the top of my profile. I also think it'd be useful to list those people as references if they're okay with it. To me, the best job hiring heuristic is word of mouth and your social circle. That's why we put so much emphasis on networking, right? Isn't LinkedIn primarily a networking website? Maybe they should figure out how to do that even better rather than go down this badge and assessment rabbit hole. Second, I think they should build some infrastructure to help you share your projects and your insights in a more effective way. Writing articles is great, but for the more technical crowd, you need to tweak it a bit. How can we show off our interactive visuals, our code, and our awesome repos? Again, I love LinkedIn, 
and I think that they have a great product overall. But this was not the right move for the community, especially with the existing problems around vetting talent that are out there in the space. I'm happy to talk to someone at the company to learn more or to give more additional feedback at any point in time. Also, there's totally a chance that I missed the mark with this. Maybe this assessment wasn't meant for data scientists and is only meant for business leaders. Maybe this holds some weight in those business communities that I don't know about. Let me know again in the comment section below if you feel differently about this assessment. And maybe I just, you know, I got a bad batch of questions. If you stayed with me this long just to hear how I did, um, I really appreciate the watch time. And you know, while you're here, you might as well like and subscribe for more content like this. To actually tell you how I did, I did reasonably well. I think I finished in the top 5% of candidates. I will also say that it didn't go well because of my machine learning knowledge. It was more for my general problem solving ability and my strength as a Googler on a couple of the questions. With this, I've probably eliminated my chances of earning a top LinkedIn voice for 2021. However, I think it was worth it to air my concerns about this type of evaluation in the community. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.